Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today, sadly, is our last full day here on the Holland America Konings Dam. We have now left Alaska and we are cruising down towards, back towards Vancouver. So very sad that <laughs> this cruise is coming to an end. Um, it really was a great cruise and stay tuned to a little bit later in this video where I will be talking a little bit about uh, some of the questions I got on Instagram about my experience here on the Holland America Konings Dam. This will be the last episode in this series. However, I'll also be letting you guys know where I'm off to actually on Sunday. So um, I arrive back to Vancouver obviously tomorrow, which is Saturday. And Sunday I am repacking my bags and heading somewhere international. So stay tuned to that recap because I'm gonna fill you guys in on those plans. So let's go to breakfast. I have to head to one more familiarization cruise meeting that we have here with the other travel advisors on board. And yeah, and then we've got the rest of the day free to do and explore as we please. So let's see what we get up to today. Let's go. I had breakfast in the main dining room on board Holland America's Coins Dam. I headed back to my stateroom after our sales session and found that my cabin steward had put the luggage protectors out on the bed. A sad sign that things are coming to a close. This afternoon we were scenic cruising in between Vancouver Island and mainland British Columbia. I did see more humpback whales, however they didn't really show up too well on my camera. For lunch, I went to the dive-in and had another burger with some fries. I then checked out Origin Story at the World Stage. The or the strongest, but was often the smartest. This is the story of Holland America Line came down to our name. It was hard to sell tickets in America on the Nederlandse Amerikaanse Stubenfahrt Maatschappij. Like human beings deserve to be treated. And it all started at home in Rotterdam. So here we're actually at the Wilhelmina Kade, but at this side is called Holland America Key. And this is the main street, you can say, in Rotterdam. So basically, where we're at, this square kilometer if you ever sail with Holland America and they are showing Origin Story, I highly recommend checking it out. It is a great presentation on the history of Holland America and I found it really interesting, especially as I would be heading to Rotterdam after this cruise. Unfortunately, the weather had turned as we were sailing through the inside passage, but it was still so scenic. We did get to see more whales, and it was just such a beautiful and relaxing sail, even though the weather wasn't too good. everyone so I thought I would answer a few of the Instagram questions that came through about my Alaska cruise here on the Holland America Konings Dam. 
So the first one was, how was the food? The food was actually really, really good. Holland America line actually changed their tagline not too long ago to savor the journey. And I have to say that I really agree with that statement. The food everywhere on the ship was actually pretty good. I didn't eat actually too much in the Lido, which is the buffet, but the food in the main dining room, I had the dive in burger. I also tried the New York pizza. It was all very, very good. Um, I've really, I've actually got no complaints. The dinner in Pinnacle was absolutely amazing. That is their specialty restaurant here on board. Um, they do have a few specialty restaurants. This ship actually has four specialty restaurants on board. My meals that I had in the main dining room were actually very very good and really good quality so if you don't have a specialty dining package or if that's something that you aren't interested in doing uh, the main dining room is actually really really good the second question is oh, what was it really like on board so I think Holland America has a little bit of a stigma. <laughs> I will say that. I personally really liked the atmosphere on board. Things have kind of changed. Um, I've sailed with Holland America before back in 2014 to Alaska. And I want to say that Holland America is not your grandmother's cruise line anymore. I'm obviously millennial and I really enjoyed my cruise with Holland America on the Koningsdam. She's obviously a brand new ship so you know the styling is very light wood in the Neptune suite and Pinnacle suite as you saw it's more of the darker woods but really there's a light airy feel about her and she feels a little bit more luxurious than some of the other contemporary cruise lines that I've uh, seen and been on. So I was really surprised by that. That was the first thing. The second thing is that yes, there is an older demographic on board, but not as much as before. And I think what's kind of changed about that is that they've got this new music walk. The music walk at night really is a livelier atmosphere. So they have the uh, Rolling Stone Rock Room, which definitely had some rock and roll. They also had Billboard on board with the dueling pianos and B.B. Uh, King's Blues Club, which was really, really great. Uh, the singers there and the jazz music was highly recommend that. Uh, the comedian was pretty good. He was pretty funny. And then they also had Lincoln Center Stage, which is more definitely orchestra related, which again, depending on your mood, that's actually really nice to listen to in the afternoon. So there was definitely the live music on board was fantastic. I was a little bit surprised by how country club casual everybody was. So even on the dressier nights, there were definitely people who dressed up, um, but it wasn't a requirement, which was actually really nice to see that Hall in America kind of broke free from your typical gala evenings. So the next question I received through Instagram was, what is the best time to go to Alaska? So this really is dependent. I would honestly say, as you saw in my video series here on the Koningsdam, we had absolutely amazing weather. So this cruise went from May 28th until June 4th of 2022, and it was summer. <laughs> it, we had absolutely amazing weather and this was my first time actually cruising to Alaska so early in the season. It's not that early, but um, I would consider it early in the season. This was my fourth cruise to Alaska. I have typically cruised to Alaska in August, September, which um, is when the salmon is running. So you do have a higher chance to see a little bit more wildlife. I will say that. Um, I didn't see one bear this trip, whereas typically I see quite a few more. <laughs> As you saw in my videos, lots of humpback whales, sea otters, seals, eagles, 
Um, it's just probably not the best season to see the bears if that is what you're coming to Alaska to see. Definitely Alaska is one of those destinations where you do want to pack a few layers, I will say that. Uh, during Glacier Bay, I did wear my puffy jacket. Uh, I did actually wear my ear warmers. So it is nice to have a few layers just depending on what's happening with the weather. I will also say that uh, I did bring also a rain, like a waterproof shell, a waterproof jacket shell. Um, because sometimes it does rain quite heavily depending on the ports and the days. It is temperate rainforest in certain areas of Alaska, so do keep that in mind. But I didn't have to use that, which was great. <laughs> Ketchikan is known for its rainfall, as I did mention in that video. So it is worth having a few layers when you come to Alaska, just based on your own comfort. Depending on the excursions you do, if you do go into September, um, you are going to catch from Skagway, if you go into the Yukon, you'll start to catch actually the fall colors. So that's also something to keep in mind if that is important to you. So again, I personally really enjoyed my cruise here to Alaska. If you are planning a trip to Alaska, I'd love to speak with you. So you can definitely contact me in the description box down below. If you are interested in working with me as your travel advisor, to book your next trip and cruise to Alaska. So let's get back to the video. I then got ready for dinner and headed up to the main dining room where all of us invited guests by Holland America as travel advisors, we all dined together. There was a special culinary council dinner tonight and I had the vine tomato salad followed by the coconut crusted shrimp. For my main, I had the roasted spice crusted prime rib followed by the chocolate puff pastry cracklin for dessert. I then headed back to my stateroom where I found my last towel animal of the cruise. I also finished packing as luggage needed to be put outside of your stateroom door by 10 o'clock p.m. I did wake up this morning just before 6 a.m. on our final approach to Vancouver. I did catch the Lighthouse Park and also us traveling underneath the Lionsgate Bridge. I did head up to Deck 9 to catch Cunard's Queen Elizabeth arriving right behind us. I'll actually be sailing on Cunard's Queen Elizabeth after my river cruise, so stay tuned for that series. It was then time for my last breakfast on board. Hi friends, so it is that time. <laughs> It breaks my heart every single time this happens. Um, it's just time to leave the ship. After I 
left the ship, I headed into the baggage pickup area, picked up my bags, and waited in line to clear Canadian Customs. As you do need to do your Arrive Can app currently before you actually disembark the ship, that was already pre-cleared with Canadian Customs. So all we had to submit was our final declaration to Canadian Customs. So I had such an amazing time on Holland America's Koningsdam. I really, really, really suggest if you are looking for a contemporary cruise line, I really suggest Holland America. They do such an amazing job of Alaska. Hopefully you were able to watch all the videos in my series. Thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and this video series, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And then also be sure to hit that subscribe button because I am home. Today is uh, June 4th, Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm actually boarding a plane to Amsterdam. <laughs> so I am home for less than 24 hours uh, to get repacked, uh, laundry, everything done. And then I'm heading to Amsterdam for a river cruise on Avalon Waterways. So I am super excited to bring you that video series next. It's actually going to be my first river cruise. Um, I was supposed to do a river cruise in 2020. We just won't talk about the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because that is actually the next video series here on YouTube. Can't wait to show you what I get up to in Amsterdam and then also my cruising experience on Avalon Waterways. So again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!